So welcome back, everyone. I hope the judges have been able to reach a decision. Uh, you had nervous anticipation around the chamber. Uh, so I'm going to ask if I can presiding judge Sarah McQuirter to come forward to offer the adjudication speech. Sarah, thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to be able to give the adjudication speech today. And I would firstly just like to thank all of our teams and all of our floor speakers for contributing to what I'm sure you would all agree was a very exciting and engaging evening of debates today. So firstly, can we just have a round of applause, please, for all the speakers today? Just before I give my feedback, I would like to remind you that the prize giving will take place shortly. So if all teams and all prize winners could please remain seated, even if I say your name, as a prize given will happen in a few moments time. This evening, and indeed throughout the whole tournament, we have seen an exceptionally high standard of debating. All of the teams have clearly, thoroughly researched the arguments that they have presented to us tonight. And every pupil who has participated today should be extremely proud of what they have achieved. So firstly, I'd like to give you four points that really impressed all of the judges about all of the teams that were here today. Firstly, I must commend you all for being so well prepared and researching your speeches so thoroughly. There were some quite complicated political issues which were part of tonight's topic and you all explained them well and were very accurate in your presentation. Secondly, I have to also say a well done for your teamwork. All of the four teams showed excellent teamwork between both of the speakers. You engaged with what each other was saying, you divided the points up fairly, and I think that was, was really excellent. Thirdly, you all engaged very well with points of information. And this can be a particularly tricky part of debating, as you don't know what your opposing team member is going to say. You reacted to them well and calmly, and you all made very intelligent points. And finally, well done for just rising to the sense of occasion. We are in such a fantastic setting today, and you all really rose to the challenge. You were exciting, you were engaging, you were well informed, and sometimes you were even funny. And that's a difficult thing to do. So tonight we have to have a winner and a runner up. So now I'd like to tell you four points which really impressed the judges um, about those two teams. So firstly, and I know you're probably all sick of hearing about this from your debate coaches, but structure. It's very important to say what you're going to say, then to say it and develop it, and then to conclude what you've just said. That really helps us as the judges taking notes and it really helps the listener to engage with what you're telling us. Secondly, develop your points fully and use examples. We thought that was a particular strength of two of the teams tonight as they used examples to make their arguments relevant. Thirdly, style. Style is important as it's how you say your points that really draws the listener in, that makes us really want to listen to what you have to say and makes your points all the more believable. You can be passionate and well measured at the same time, although I appreciate sometimes that can be finely balanced. And fourthly, rebuttal. This is a skill that both the proposition and opposition have to have. You need to be able to engage with the points raised by your opposing team. Whilst all four teams did this well, our top two teams really engaged with their opposition. They picked up on the key points of clash and they reacted to them. And finally, we do also have prizes for the floor contributors today. And again, I would like to say a big well done to all of the floor contributors for your engaging contributions to tonight's events. As judges, we think that there's two important things you can do as a floor contributor. You can either introduce a new relevant point or you can develop one of the key points of clash. And our two winners did that on not only one occasion, but on a number of occasions tonight. And so now to announce the winners. 
To remind you of our prizes, this year the winning team is going to receive the tournament trophy plus £1,000 for their school. The runners-up will receive £250 for their school. And the winner and the runner-up team will also share £500 worth of book tokens from the tournament sponsors, Hodder Gibson's range of educational books. And all of our finalists will receive commemorative quakes and book tokens, and book tokens will also be presented to our four contributors. So now the big announcement you've all been waiting for. Firstly, I would like to congratulate our two floor winners. They are Harry Mackle from St Andrews and St Brides and Mary Kinnahan of Peebles High School. If everyone would like to join me in a round of applause. I'm delighted to announce the runner-up from today is Balfron High School. And the winner of this evening is Bears Den Academy. And if any of the teams tonight would like some feedback, please do come and find myself or any of the other judges and we'll happily provide you with that at the end of the evening. Thank you very much. Sarah, thank you very much for that. And fact, can I thank you and all the judges for taking the time this evening to come along and to give us your expertise uh, and your comments for the young people. I think they'll be hugely encouraged that you give up so much time uh, and uh, for your well-informed well comments on how to conduct yourself in debate. And if you want to come along and do a masterclass for my MSP colleagues, that would be much appreciated too. Can I now call on Lorna Jack, Chief Executive of the Law Society, to come forward and speak to us. Thank you, Lorna. Presiding officer, ladies and gentlemen, judges and competitors, I'm delighted to be here once again tonight at what has been a fascinating and highly entertaining final to this year's debate tournament. As many of you may be aware, 2019 has been quite a year of celebration for us. We've marked 100 years of women in law. It's the 70th anniversary of the Law Society of Scotland and of course the 20th anniversary of our Donald Dewar Memorial Debate Tournament. This year also marks the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the Scottish Parliament. It is therefore a fitting end to our debating competition once again that we've enabled Scotland's young people to shine on the floor of the Scottish Parliament debating chamber. And from, from what we've seen this evening, we may see a few of you back in years to come. Established in 1999 and dedicated to the memory of the former First Minister, Donald Dewar, MSP, our debate tournament is an event in which we take enormous pride. Not only is it one of the highlights of the Law Society calendar, but it's also one of the Parliament's biggest annual events and a favourite in the world of school debating. No wonder with a pr top prize of £1,000 to the winning school and, of course, that trophy. As part of our 20th anniversary celebrations, we undertook research to find out if any of the previous tournament winners had, had gone on to a career in the legal profession. And I'm delighted to say we have been joined this evening by Elizabeth Grant, who is sitting in the public gallery. Elizabeth is now a solicitor with the Medical Protection Society, was a debater with the winning team from St. Margaret's School for Girls in 2000. It's great that you've joined us tonight and to watch your former high school compete in the final once again. We've also been joined by last year's winners from Peebles High School, Helen Whaley and, Mar and Mary Sinclair, who are both now studying the LLB. It's fantastic to have you here, and I do hope you've had, had an enjoyable evening with us. I'm sure it's been much more relaxing than last year. And as mentioned, two of our judges this evening, Sarah and Victoria, are also part, per, past participants of the tournament. And Andrew McPeak joins us from Craigmount High School, who've won the tournament on three occasions. So thank you to you all. It's great to have so many people with links to the competition joining us tonight. I'd like to take a moment to share with you just how challenging it's been for the competitors to make it through to tonight's final. 
In November, 128 teams from across Scotland registered to participate, and in a reference to news headlines from 20 years ago, our first and second round teams argued the motion, motion, this house believes that Google does more harm than good, and this house would abolish the national minimum wage. 16 teams then went on to compete in the semi-finals where the debaters were brought back to the present day with the motion, this house, house regrets the hashtag Me Too movement. At this stage of the competition, the debater skills were truly tested as the motion remained unseen until just one hour before the debate took place. In addition to the restricted preparation time, teams had no access to computers, books or mobile phones to help prepare their arguments, which added an extra element of pressure. So I'm sure you'll all agree that reaching the final is a fantastic achievement and that all, all four teams competing this evening are more than deserving of their place. I'd also like to take a moment to thank those of you who contributed to the floor debate. In particular, congratulations go to our floor prize winners, Harry and Mari. Every year, the floor debate seems to get livelier, which is great, and we rely on you to challenge our debaters, so thank you for your input. Perhaps we'll see both of you in front of the judging panel in future. It's a great honour for us to be given the opportunity to host the final of the tournament at the Scottish Parliament and I do hope that you will all remember tonight for a long time to come. On behalf of the Law Society and all of our guests, I'd like to thank the presiding officer, Ken McIntosh, MSP, and everyone in the Parliament's events and education teams, particularly Lynn Stewart and Douglas Miller, for ensuring that tonight has been a great success. Whilst on the subject of guests, can I also thank you for involving my two colleagues who've come all the way from Zambia and Kenya to be with the Law Society this week. So Edward and Mercy, I know that you've had a tremendous experience in watching the pupils debate tonight, a very special evening for you. Watching from the gallery this evening are the team's supporters whose commitment should be recognized to the teachers, families and friends of our debaters and the team coaches who challenged and supported all of the teams this e here this evening, not just our four finalists. It's your enthusiasm and commitment that has encouraged your pupils' success and I am sure that you, you are very proud of them indeed. Also in the gallery are supporters of our outreach initiatives and some of our esteemed judges from earlier heats, without whom, put simply, we could not have a tournament. Each year we rely on hundreds of volunteers to judge the opening rounds of the competition and this year, as indeed every year, we've seen fantastic levels of support with nearly 150 members of the legal profession registering to judge in the tournament. Thanks to your commitment and enthusiasm, schools are provided the opportunity to participate year after year. As you heard this year, schools from 29 of, of Scotland's 32 local authorities took part from the highlands to the borders, which is an exciting indicator of the levels of interest in and engagement with debate in schools across Scotland. Now it's with my great pleasure that I turn my attention to the judging panel. Ash, Victoria, Andrew, Sarah, Jim and Jennifer. I certainly did not envy your extremely difficult task of selecting our winners from the fantastic group of finalists. Once the event has drawn to an end, we would like to present you with a small token of our appreciation um, to, for the fantastic job you've done this evening. You will understand that an event like this does not happen overnight and planning for the final begins as soon as the semi-finals have taken place. So I'd like to put on record my thanks to Lindsay Thompson, the Law Society's Careers and Outreach Coordinator, who's very much been the leader of team debate this year. Lindsay was supported by her colleagues from the Law Society and she's worked enthusiastically throughout the year to coordinate our judges, schools, teachers and sponsors, making sure that the tournament runs to schedule. Lindsay, I know you'll be happy to see the culmination of all of that work uh, this evening, although I know after a short break you'll be looking forward to it all starting again in a few months. This year, we're once again delighted to have our tournament sponsored by Hodder Gibson, the publishers, and TC Young. We also remain most grateful to the Glasgow Bar Association for their continued support of the tournament and the donation of the second prize. It's my pleasure to thank Rosie Howie from Hodder Gibson, from Is Isabel Ewing from TC Young, and Jim Bald from the Glasgow Bar Association for joining us here this evening and who will present prizes alongside the Society's President, John Mulholland, and Presiding Officer, Ken McIntosh. Thank you all for your continued support of sponsors, which helps to ensure that pupils across the country have the opportunity to compete in this tournament. 
Finally, I'll turn my attention back to our winners, Beer Stein. You have met, been met with some uh, seriously impressive competition tonight, so you should feel especially proud of being chosen as champions this year. Congratulations once again. Now, I'm sure our teams are keen to be reunited with coaches, parents, friends, so I will hand back over to the presiding officer to present the prizes. Thank you again to everyone who's been involved, and I hope to see many of you here again next year. Thank you. Thank you very much and thanks indeed to the Law Society for all the work you do. 20 years now it's been a fantastic and it's, it never fails to impress all of us who have the, the, the joy of being part of this occasion. So thank you for the work in making it happen. Uh, can I now invite, uh, can I invite John Mulholland, uh, the President of the Law Society of Scotland, to come and join me. Uh, Rosie Howey from uh, Hodder Gibson. Oh, I'm pointing to the wrong Rosie there. <laughs> Rosie. Uh, Hodder Gibson and Isabel Ewing from TC Young as sponsors of the tournament to come to the floor for the prize giving. There we are. So now, could I ask Mary Kinnahan and Harry Mackle, winners of the best floor speeches, to come forward and to receive your prizes. And could I also ask St Margaret's School for Girls and St Andrews Academy to come forward to collect your prizes. I can also ask Jim Bald uh, of the Glasgow Bar Association and sponsor of the second prize to come to the floor to present the runners-up with their prize. And could the runners-up, Barthorn High School, please come forward to present to receive your prize. Now, this is uh, absolutely typical for uh, two outstanding pupils uh, who sacrificed their time tonight uh, on prom night. They're sixth year pupils. And uh, so Matthew uh, Barton and Michael Dunn um, are, went late to their own prom. So they gave their speeches and they've had to rush back to Bear's Den to their prom. You can't miss your prom if you're sixth year at school. So despite um, being outstanding contributors, they have put in place two ersatz pupils, <laughs> two ersatz <laughs> who are going to stand in for uh, Michael and Matthew. going to ask you to come forward on behalf of Michael and Matthew <laughs> and Bill's in Academy.
Thank you very much, everybody. Thank uh, my judges and uh, sponsors uh, for your contribution. Thank all the pupils in particular for a fantastic night, really enjoyable night. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for coming along and making this possible. Uh, please have a safe journey home. All the uh, um, floor panelists, uh, floor contributors and uh, teams stay for one more official photograph of everybody. But on that note, can I thank you very much.